a while. I am back today with another Cheryl Fernandez Rossini inspired look. I've noticed that she's been going really, really heavy under the eyes and just looks absolutely beautiful. So I saw this look. I don't think it's actually an X Factor look. I just think it was a date night look, out for dinner look. So yeah, here it is. My Cheryl inspired red lip bronzed date night look. Not first date, mind you because it might be a bit too much. Maybe like third or fourth date or just out with the girls. So I really hope you like it. Just gonna start off using my primer and using a MAC paint pot in the colour Soft Ochre. And I'll just put that all over the eye and then whatever's left, just take under the eyes. I'm then gonna take a fluffy brush and this is the E35 Tapered Blending Brush from Sigma. I'm going to take my Naked palette, which I haven't used for a while, and I'm going to take the colour Naked all over my eyes. I'm also going to take on the same fluffy brush this L'Oreal Colour Rich Eyeshadow in the colour Lumiere 500, which is a really gorgeous gold shade. I've done a full review on this on my blog, so I'll leave that below. So just take this on the fluffy brush and just putting that just all over there just to give a little hint of sparkle. I'm then going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. This is the colour Twice Baked. I'm just going to draw a rough line on the crease. And then I'm going to take my Zoeva crease brush, 2C Light crease brush, and just blend that in. And that kind of just sets a contour which will last. Then I'm going to take the colour Buck from the Naked palette. This, I think, is a real Cheryl colour. And just put that into my crease. Then I'm going to take a small petite crease brush and you take that same colour back and just take it under my eyes. Cheryl seems to be putting quite a lot of shadow on the lower lash line these days. And quite kind of smoky and thick. Then with the same petite crisp brush, I'm going to take the colour Dark Horse from the Naked palette and just put that on the outer crease. Taking the slightly bigger crease brush, taking the bark and then just blending over the Dark Horse. Again, and just really kind of smoothing that whole outer crease area. I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and we're going to wet it. So I'm going to take my NYX matte finish spray and just wet the brush and just take the colour Half Baked, which is I think my favourite shade from the Naked palette, and just Pat that onto the centre of my lid, just the centre, just to kind of highlight. Because it's wet, it will just kind of stand out a little bit more. Then on the other side that's not wet off the flat brush, I'm going to take the colour Virgin, which is the first shade, and just put that under my brows, just to highlight my brows. While we're on the brows, in my brows a little bit, so I'm going to be using my Smashbox brow tech to go. Use the pencil side. I've already filled in this brow. So. My second glory Supercat fat liner and I'm going to do a really really thin line because in this look I feel that Cheryl is more about the lashes than the liner. So I'm going to do a really really thin line. Now, before I finish off the eyes and go to the bottom, I'm actually just going to add the eyelashes. So it just gives me more of an idea what to play with. So I'm just using the number 114, the Cheryl eyelashes. Um, you don't need to have lashes for this look, but I just thought it's very Cheryl to have these lashes. And because the rest of the makeup is quite neutral. Line my waterline, and I'm using the same 24/7 liner twice baked. But you're going to add some concealer under my eyes. And the great thing about the naked palette is that there's literally no fallout. Okay, 
I should do mud. Use my NARS Brilliant Cream, you can see that. Use my Beauty Blender, a little bit damp. And just blend that. So for my skin, I actually used my NARS Sheer Glow in the colour Barcelona. So I used that all over my face and blended it in. Contoured my face using the Cappadocia Multiples, which is a matte brown, so I used it on the corners of my cheeks, just a little bit around my forehead, down the sides of my nose and just on my chin here and then blended all of that out. Then I just used the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. I used my YSL Touche Curve down the bridge of my nose. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit here because I feel like this is quite a highlighted and bronzed look. And just blend that out with the Beauty Blender. Then before adding any powder products, it's best to show your cream products first. So just as a little bit of cream blush, I used this little sample, which is by The Balm, and it's How About Them Apples. So I used a little bit of this, it's really bright like coral pop. So I just used that on my cheeks. Then I'm gonna take my Ben Rye Banana Powder on a Real Technique setting brush and just set in my the last bridge of my nose. And then just to powder the rest of my face, I'm going to take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Just on my forehead, on my chin. I'm just going to take a small angled brush from MAC and I'm going to take that butt colour again and just really smother it on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take the colour Dark Horse, which is a dark brown colour. And I'm just going to put that over the top of the box, so along my lower lash line, really close to my the roots of my lower lash line. And I'm going to use a really small eyeshadow brush, and take a bit of that dark brush in there, and just to really smoke that hole, just really smoke it out. Just going to add some mascara just so that my lashes and the false lashes blend in a bit. And I'm going to use my Soap and Glory Thick and Fast. Cheryl has done this bit, but I just like it as a personal touch. Just going to take a small kind of like pencil brush and a half baked colour and just put that right in my inner corner just to highlight that. And now, just to finish off the face, I'm going to take my MAC bronzing powder and this is the colour Refined Golden. I'm going to take it on a Sigma large angled contour brush and just go in on the hollows of my cheeks. Always has really, really defined cheekbones. Just take that round my hairline, my jawline. Then just with the smallest tint of blusher, I'm going to take this my NARS blusher in the colour Gilda. Just take a tiny bit and just put that on just up onto my cheek. Now for the lips, I'm going to take a lip liner first and I'm using the number seven. I don't know what the colour is, but it's just a red. So I'm just gonna line my lips first. Then I'm going to take my NARS lipstick and this is from the new Audacious Lips collection and this is the colour Rita, a really gorgeous red and I'd just like to point out this is the first time I'm using it so I'm just going to apply that. It's a finished look, like a bronzed autumn look with a lovely bright red lip. I hope you like this tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to leave any comments below and let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. I'll see you back here soon. Bye!